What is up guys, Johnny here. This is my advanced arena guide. If you guys are new to the arena, you might want to check the links in my description. I got older uh, arena guides for beginners. But if you're a regular arena player and you do consistently uh, arena clears around 12 minutes and you're trying to improve and go under the 10 minute mark, this guide is for you. We will go round by round. I will give you guys all the little tips, all the little details that will help you guys go and clear the arena around the nine minutes mark. Okay, so let's go with round one. This is the start of the arena. As you spawn, you go pick up some secondary ammo and all three players will go at the same location to start the round one. It is the platform. You will know that if you're already familiar with the arena. But yeah, all three players back to the wall and wait for the enemies to spawn. As soon as they spawn, you shoot them in the back and they pretty much instantly die. Uh, it's good to have one of the three players use a sniper for round three and five. It will really help. It will also help for the Regis uh, boss at the end. But okay, what you're looking for here is the three twin blades. And when the third twin blade spawn, one player should already leave. Two players will stay to clean the rest of the enemies but one player should already be gone and wait for the chargers to spawn because you see on the screen super kush and uh, yaki are already there and one player will stay here and clear the rest of the trash mobs and the spiders that will spawn it's okay to use one am bomb at the start but i think it's more efficient to keep the am bombs for the uh, start of round two because there's more elites there but as you can see i'm clearing the spiders and the other two players are on the other side clearing the flying red enemies and the chargers that spawn there by the time i'm done with the spiders uh they're pretty much done with the rest so you can go and help them finish the job or you can just go and pick up ammo and then get ready to start round two start of round two is the exact same thing all three players on the first platform getting ready to spawn kill the enemies the difference this time is the uh, other enemies will start spawning on your left instead of on your right. So you all stick together for the start of the round. It's good to use AM bombs there. Uh, as you can see, we use two AM bombs at the start. Uh, there's a lot of yellow enemies. And then someone's already gone on the left now. Enemies start spawning on the left. So two players stay on that platform to finish the job because there will be more. And it's very good if you guys face each other. As you can see, the enemies will always be looking at me or my partner. So I try to shoot the ones that look at my partner because you get more damage that way. And my partner is trying to shoot the enemies that are facing me. If you really have some pressure in the back, of course, you're going to have to do a small circle because you don't want to die. It's not efficient. But as you can see, I got clear back shots. And when we're done with the trash mobs, uh, my friend will go help on the left and uh, I will go with him. The red hammer guy, I think is the name is going to spawn a uh, razor blade. Sorry, guys. But once this guy is spawned, the first player is already gone to the corner. You, you don't need three guys to kill the razor blade. One guy should already be in the corner at that time, starting clearing the enemies that will spawn there. There's a bunch of decimator grunts or something and some red uh, flying enemies. I don't know the name. But as you can see, two players stay to kill the, the razor blade. But one player already left, the one that's already on the left, he's already gone to the corner. You're saving a lot of time that way. If you start learning the patterns, don't wait for things to spawn. Go there before they spawn. Now this is going to be round three. It's a bit different. Only one player will go at the starting area, the first platform. One player, the sniper, is on the center platform. And his primary job is to clear the uh, sniper towers, okay, the uh, void callers. It's his job. You don't have to worry about the void callers. So I start here and clear these uh, decimators ASAP. It will spawn one orange enemy. And my other friend is on the other side of that platform, clearing the other decimator chargers, I think, that spawn over there. So three players, three different roles. If you want to have very good arena times, you have to define your roles. You're not going to do that without communication before the arena starts. So once we're done, snipers are dead, the orange enemy is dead, everyone goes to the corner and help the third player that was already there to clear the decimators. You finish the round here, 
one pro tip here do not kill the tw the twin blade focus on the great enemies only because if you keep uh, if you kill the twin blade other twin blades will spawn if you ignore the twin blade and just kill the the trash mobs then when you're done with the trash mobs you kill the, the twin blade and it's over you don't have to kill multiple twin blades if you just kill the trash mobs first until no other trash mobs spawn so hope you guys understood that it will really help uh clearing the arena faster i guess now it's gonna be round four one player stay here what you just saw uh the decimator chargers that spawn there and two players go on the first platform that we start around the uh, one two all right now this is round four so we are two here on the starting platform again we face each other we try to clear everything as it spawn you see that i'll already have some stuff on my left so i gotta be careful uh, not having too much danger on my back again you can focus on the trash mob so you can, you have less elites to kill but uh the player that start uh, on the other side killing the chargers he will come to help us as soon as he's done there's a lot of things here round four is probably the toughest to start uh, and once you're done clearing the trash here uh, you will focus on the trash on the left so now the red flying enemies again start spawning i don't even remember the name but whatever uh, two players go on the other side one player uh, kills the trash that spawned there and the two other players finish the job because there's a lot of yellows over there and once you're done there will be two orange elites that will spawn and one in the middle so focus on the red hammers first there's only two but you gotta kill them super fast because um the other guy the hellstorm is not too dangerous you start seeing the bullets but he's not a, he's not a problem you, you have time to kill the the red hammer first and then all together go and kill uh this one last guy and it is the end of round four all right so round five will start i just run around get some more secondary ammo now round five again the sniper player has a same job as the round three it will go on the center platform and get rid of the void colors you should not have to worry about that the other two players are right here on the corner your job is to make the boss spawn asap how you make the boss spawn you kill these red flying things asap and then the razor blades spawn kill the razor blade as soon as he's dead the bosses will spawn now two guys will go for the blade dancer and one guy the sniper is already starting to chip on regis so don't go if you're the sniper don't go near the blade dancer you don't want the aggro you want to be on the opposite end of the arena now as you can see my partner cross the blade dancer to draw aggro and i shoot it in the back you don't want to get too close because the blade dancer will start turning around and it's gonna be a mess it's very easy to uh to drop it but as you can see blade dancer very quick kill like five seconds or something now it's uh, time to go for regis so the sniper guy will come with me and the third player will be distracting or drawing aggro from regis look at yatoku on the screen he's very aggressive trying to draw aggro he's very close to the the boss feet and the boss is trying to hit or grab him as you can see a matter of five or ten seconds max we are two players shooting the back at regis non-stop and uh it's over nine minutes and seven seconds one thing i want to tell you guys is about the buffs that you get uh in the casino it really depends what you're trying to do here if you're trying to beat your personal record for fun uh you will go to the casino and get some 50 percent buffs because of course more crit damage means you kill the enemies faster the thing though is when you're trying to get a whole team with the 50 percent crit buffs it can take way more than five minutes there's always one of the three players that get unlucky and cannot get the final buff it is so long sometimes that one player might have to start like re getting the buffs because it's already expiring so if you get five to ten minutes to get your buff just to save something like 30 seconds in the arena because it's not gonna save you minutes okay if you get the buffs in the casino you will save probably less than a minute uh the thing is you cannot skip stuff you cannot skip the the time between the rounds you cannot skip the delay before the enemies stop spawn start spawning sometimes 
there's a lot of things that you cannot change even if you do more damage so if you're just farming the arena for hours you want to go back to back to back don't waste 15 minutes in the casino every two rounds because you're actually saving like one minute or one minute and a half i don't even think so just wanted to say our best time with the buffs was 840 and our best time without the buffs was 907 so that is 27 seconds for the 50 percent buffs is it really worth it you want to waste five to ten minutes at least just to save 27 seconds uh just my two cents and that will be it for the video guys it's pretty much all i can share right now i know i went pretty fast but i'm also thinking uh if you're watching this guide you guys already know what you're doing you already know the arena and you're just trying to improve so it's all about timing know the patterns but someone has to be there before you have to leave this the rest of the squad to go do your thing before it happens so that's how you save time and that's how you get uh times under 10 minutes in the silver arena so once again thank you guys so much for watching i really hope this video guide was helpful if it helped please leave a like share this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your notifications watch my other videos i will be back soon take care